Okay, everyone. Let's look at this together. x to the power of 3 plus x equals 2. Okay, so how do we solve this? Do you know that 2 here can be 1 plus 1? 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, right? Okay. And then the same 1 here can be 1 to the power of 3 plus 1. Now look at the left hand side and the right hand side. They are in the same form, right? So what you will do next is to collect terms x to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 will come together. Then I have plus x minus 1 together. Then we equate this to 0. Okay, if you are new to my channel, subscribe so you can get more of my videos, right? Now let's continue. This is difference of two cubes. And if you have a cube minus b cube, this is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared, right? So this is what we have. And then our a now is going to be x. Our b is 1. So let's substitute into that. A minus B is X minus 1 into A squared is X squared. A B is X times 1, that is X. B squared is 1 squared and that is 1. Then plus, open bracket, X minus 1 as we equate to 0. Now, what again do you think I can do? You look at this and this x minus 1 is common so x minus 1 comes out as the common factor then in here we have x squared plus x plus 1 then plus x minus 1 divided by itself is 1 then we close it and equate to 0 now let's simplify this together we have x minus 1, the common factor. Then here now is x squared plus x plus 1 plus 1 is 2. Then we have 0. So we are multiplying these two to get 0. Either of them must be equal to 0. So it's either x minus 1 is 0 or x squared plus x plus 2 is 0. So from here, x is going to be equal to 0 plus 1. And then our x is equal to 1. One of the solutions, right? Now, we are going to get more solutions from here. So I'll bring it here. x squared plus x plus 2 is equal to 0. So our x... Let's use the formula for it. This is a quadratic equation. And the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay. In case you are asking why do you always use the formula? It's because the formula can solve every quadratic equation. Okay. Whether the one that will give real solutions or complex solutions now from here our a is 1 b is 1 c is 2 so let's substitute into this formula x will now be minus 1 because b is 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared which will now be 1 squared minus 4 times 1 a is 1 times c c is 2 then we divide that by 2 times 1 because a is still 1. Now x from here will be minus 1 plus or minus. Okay, so we'll have the square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 2 is 8. 
then we divide this by 2 2 times 1 is 2 now x from here is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 7 um, 8 that is minus 7 as we divide by 2 let us continue okay so we have our x to be minus 1 plus or minus square root of negative 7 over 2 right and then um, from here this means that our x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus we have i root 7 over 2 because of the negative over there and then you should know that this is a two in one solution because of the plus or minus so let's bring the the three solutions together we got x1 the first value of x x is 1 then the second value x2 is from here and that's going to be minus 1 plus i root 7 divided by 2 then we have x3 to be equal to minus 1 minus i root 7 divided by 2 so these three are the solutions to the equation thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe so you can get more of my videos